Look at that. Look at the little turtle playing on the bus. The Grateful Dead bus. Little turtle playing on the bus. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's just sweet. That's sweet. Yes, that's very nice. Look at little Johnny Lightning. Grateful Dead bus playing along with the turtles, the terrapins, lightning bolts, skeletons. Looking over there, you got the actual skeletons on the bus. Pretty cool stuff. Nice decorations. Nice little pieces of Grateful Dead history. Johnny Lightning. Two of them. I think I got two more. I have to show them next time. But today, we're going to try to open up some eBay packages that I got. eBay packages of comic books. Different comic books that I picked up. I just haven't gotten a chance to open them this week. It's been a crazy week. This one actually came all the way San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas. Do not bend. They all came in really nice packages. Really nice packages. It's good to get transported comics. eBay, transported comics, in good good condition, the condition that you think you ordered them in. That's pretty cool. All these all these have came in good 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 boxes, good transport, so let's try to open a few. I'll try to set this down and we can get one or two opened and I don't know we'll open them all, but Let's try to open. Let's try to open this one. I don't exactly remember what's in all of them. I love. I like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's Fortress of Solitude. That's where it shipped from. But uh, let's try to open one. Um, I don't remember what's in all of them. But uh, I I know what's in them. But I don't know what's in them. If that makes any sense. If that makes any sense whatsoever. I know it doesn't. Um, it's uh, it's going to be fun to see what's inside. I hope they come in good good form, good condition. Um, but this one can't seem to get into. Okay, I think I, I think I got a I think I got a slit in there. We're making our way. Now let's just rip this thing open. Hopefully we can get it open. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. Let's set the knife down so nobody gets hurt. Being hurt would be bad. Hurting the comic would actually be worse. So, I think we're in. I think we're almost there. Sorry if you guys can't see, but uh, pretty exciting. See what's inside. See what uh, see what the package holds. Haha. <laughs> and we keep on tearing in there. And and we're almost there. Okay, that's what it looks like. Well, again, if you guys can see exactly, let's get that out of the way. Um, came in good, good packaging, you know, again. Hopefully it gets transported in good condition. So I'm going to try to open it real gently. Ah, there. Got it. I think I got it. If you guys can see it, I, I got one part of it open, and we're almost in there. And let's do this one. There. We're almost there. The first package is going to be opened. It's kind of like a big reveal. What is it? What is it? What's it going to be? It looks like it's in a pretty good board and back. Let's see if I can... Usually I replace... I'll replace the board and back with my own stuff. But if it's, it's a decent board and back, I go... I'll keep it. And this one actually looks like it might be a good, decent board and back. So I can make. Oh, there we got a slice. We're getting so close. So close. Get that out of the way. Sorry if that was loud. No, I see what it is. But uh, we're, we're almost there. It is Cavewoman. Cavewoman issue one. 1995. Bud Root. I don't know if you can see it. He's a great artist. Great artist. The comic book was called Rain. Check that. Cavewoman. Just awesome. Fun book. I could probably talk about that book for hours. Um, it's a book that holds, no, no, holds nothing back. In, in, in the world of 
comic books where you got DC Comics and Marvel and even Image. I mean, they, they got to hold back a little. They can't really dabble in the taboo, if you will. Cavewoman is still out there from 95, even probably, probably earlier. They're dabbling in the taboo, and they're embracing it, and they're enjoying it and having a fun time. So that is Cavewoman number one from 1995 and it's mine it's it's there 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 it is that's uh that is a lot of fun right there that is actually really cool really cool let's check it out rain 1995 love the dinosaur on there little uh what do they call that a raptor or something so that's cool let's let's set this down see if we can get maybe one more opened and um, let's see what it is. How about this do not bend? It's even written on the back, do not bend. Let's see what we got. This one should be a little bit easier to open. It looks like it's easier. I'll just tear that along the way. Tear that along the way. We're almost there. The anticipation. Ha <laughs> Oh, this is packaged nice as well. Can't complain about the packaging on these things. Opening it up. Again, it's kind of hidden. Who knows what's behind door number three, if you will. Oh my gosh, what is this? I don't even know. It's in some heavy duty. I honestly have never seen packaging quite like this. Let's be a. I like that it's bubble wrapped. Came bubble wrapped. But I've never seen a comic box quite like this. I. It's just some heavy duty box. It's. Looks like it came from my comic shop. Can't be. I didn't order any Incredible Hulk. Let's turn it around. Oh. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's, uh, what if the Phoenix had not died? That just looks sharp. Wow. It's an old what if. Wolverine. Awesome. Um, 1981 Marvel Comics. The X-Men ask, what if Phoenix had not died? I think, I think, in fact, I almost want to open it up right now and see, but I think Frank Miller, Frank Miller drew the inside of this book. I think. It may not be in the greatest condition, but, you know, I didn't, I know I didn't pay all that much for it either when I ordered it. Um... Just gonna open it up real quick, and who knows? Maybe we got time for one more one more opening. It's a, it's a thick book. It's may not be in the best condition, but it's gonna be a great read. You know, it's gonna be a really fun read. You can kind of see the vision of Phoenix there, Cyclops, Angel, um, Colossus. It's just awesome. And it's a direct edition too. That's pretty cool to see the full Spider-Man right there in the UPC in the UPC position. Let's see. Just looks like Burn. I know that was a picture of Burn. Frank Miller is not the writer or the artist. I'm sorry, but that's cool. Look at first first front page. Phoenix right there. I don't know if you guys can see. Again, I don't. I don't really want to ruin the book before I can even read the book, but uh, the art's beautiful. It's gorgeous art. Gorgeous, gorgeous art. Really nice. Wow. Nice pages, too. Nice spine on it. I mean, I mean, there's some spine crack, but that's okay. Wow, that's going to be a fun read. What was nice about the What If comics is that they kind of explored... Obviously, what if? What if something something incredible had happened that wasn't expected to happen in, in the Marvel Universe? And it uh, that's going to be a fun read. The Phoenix death was... Obviously, she comes back to life, but... Uh, yeah, so maybe should we open the San Antonio, Texas? Um, let's do it quick. I think we can pull it off quickly. Hope you guys aren't getting bored. I didn't... I didn't I didn't know it would take this long to open one box, but this is this should go pretty quick. It looks like. Ooh, open. 
Huh, well that's weird. Check this out. It came in it came in a nice box. I like that. But in that box it came in a Walmart bag. Not only is one Walmart bag a thank you bag. We got a thank you bag in there. Let's see what that is. Well I like no I like what I see so far. We got an X-Men 173. I've needed that one since I read 172. I enjoyed it, and I realized in my collection I did not have a 173. I know what else is in this box, too. I guess my main thing is what's the condition. This condition is beautiful. She-Hulk number three. She-Hulk number three. Wow. And the condition is phenomenal. Look at that. How they. This is from 1980. The Savage She-Hulk. 1980. Number three, wow. Number four, yes. And the condition is beautiful. 1980, bronze, great, great time for comics was that time. Another Savage She-Hulk. Savage She-Hulk number four. Look at that. Look at that. Iron Man's face, She-Hulk's image coming, I mean, reflection, I should say. That's the word I was looking for. It's, it's She-Hulk's reflection in Iron Man's face. Enter Iron Man. Oh, that that is going to be a fun read. Fun one. Yes. Beautiful. 1980. And they're in such good shape. And, and heck, even the... Oh, these these bags and backs are great. These are keepers, too. Wow. I know what number eight is on the front cover, number eight. And here you kind of see Swamp Demons. I mean, number eight is actually Man-Thing. Savage She-Hulk, Man-Thing behind her. That's a cool cover. I mean, you know, Savage She-Hulk. She-Hulk, what a great character. I, uh, I could talk about that character for a long time as well, almost as long as I could talk about this character. But um, Savage She-Hulk, she became the She-Hulk. She was, I believe, don't quote me, she was the cousin or she was a relation to Bruce Banner. Jennifer Walters was her name. And she needed a blood transfusion. She got the blood trans transfusion from Bruce Banner. That's how she becomes She-Hulk. That I and that was that story was written in 1980. I find that just incredible that that they would come up with something like that, a, a blood transfusion in 1980 turns you into the She-Hulk. You know, just just how the world, how medicine's advanced, and I don't know, you, you read a story like that, it's just it's fun. It's just fun. And that, well, that, and that's the birth of the Savage She-Hulk, Jennifer Walters, Savage She-Hulk. So, um, one more box. I don't know if we'll open it. I know what's in it. Um, maybe we'll save it for another day, another Do Not Bender. Do Not Bend. But, uh, yeah, I got some good books to read. Native Woman. That's going to be fun. What if Phoenix had not died? All good stuff. Just, just all good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, good. A lot of fun. I've been enjoying comic books, and uh, I've been enjoying comic books a lot lately. It's been a lot of fun. And I'm enjoying opening packages, too. I mean, who knows what they're packaged in or what condition they're going to be in. And we'll just kind of show the, the buses one more time. Well, I hope you enjoyed. And... Uh, you know the drill. You like it, leave a thumbs up or leave a comment in the section below. You've heard it all a million times. Look at that man thing. That is, that's just so fun. A lot of fun. There. I don't know that. I don't know when I was kind of all talking up that, that picture. That's just pretty cool. That's a cool book. That's a very cool book. <laughs> I like just like everything about them. I can't wait to read them. It's too fun. But yeah, uh, leave leave a comment in the section below if you uh, like this, if you kind of thought it was cool, if you kind of thought it was whatever. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Leave it. Um, didn't spend too much time just kind of ad lib this whole thing. And um, if you'd like to see more or not see more, just let us know. Uh, have a good day.